Butterflies, a story of great migrations as seen on the National Geographic Channel. Written by Laura Marsh. Here is our table of contents. We will be learning a lot about the migration of monarch butterflies. Make sure to stay tuned for the end to learn what you can do to help the monarch butterflies. On the move. When animals travel from one region or habitat to another, it is called migration. Animals migrate in search of food or a mate. Migration helps animals survive on Earth. Many animals migrate. The monarch butterfly is one of them. In this book, they call their important words or keywords wing words. Here are our first two. Migration, moving from one region or habitat to another for food or a mate. Mate, either a male or female in a pair. Most animals need a mate to have babies. Amazing monarchs. What insect is black and orange and flies the farthest of any on earth? You guessed it, a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies migrate 2,000 to 3,000 miles. They travel to the forests of Mexico from the United States and Canada and back every year. Since butterflies are so small, a mile is much farther for them than for people. A butterfly's 2,800 mile trip is like a person traveling 275,000 miles. That's like walking around the earth 11 times. Mighty Big Trip. Here is a weird but true fact about monarch butterflies. Monarch caterpillars get oxygen through the holes in the sides of their bodies. Two monarch populations. The Western population migrates along the Pacific coast of the United States. The eastern population migrates east of the Rocky Mountains in the United States and Canada, all the way to Mexico. This book is about the eastern population. It is winter. In the Yoamo Forest of Mexico, clusters of butterflies make the trees look orange. There are so many butterflies they could cover 11 football fields. Here, the monarchs rest and wait for spring. Here's another weird but true fact. Antenna give butterflies a sense of smell. In the spring, swarms of newly awakened monarchs cover the trees and fly through the air. Millions of monarchs are ready to leave Mexico. Here's a little joke for you. Why couldn't the butterfly come to the dance? Because it was a mothball. Need to lead. The female monarchs lead the butterflies north from Mexico. Their parents cannot guide them. They died soon after the eggs were laid. How do these butterflies know where to go? The monarchs know where to go by instinct. Sunlight signals tell them to migrate. Scientists believe that sunlight also helps guide them. Here's another wing word, instinct. Behavior that animals are born knowing how to do. It takes the whole family. Each year, the monarch's migration takes several generations. Three or four generations complete the trip north, but only one generation makes the return trip south. That means that if you started the journey, your great-great-grandchildren would finish it. How does this work? Here's another wing word, generation. Time it takes for a living thing to grow up and reproduce. The first three or four generations live two to six weeks as adult butterflies. During the spring, the first generation hatches in the south. They fly north as far as they can. Then they lay eggs and later die. The second generation continues the journey, lays eggs and dies. The third and sometimes fourth generations hatch through the spring and summer. They finish the journey north. Here's another weird but true fact. Adults appear to have four legs, but they really have six. Their two front legs are small. They are curled up and hard to see. At the end of the summer, a special super generation hatches. These butterflies live six to nine months, much longer than the generations before it. 
In the fall, when it gets colder in the north, the monarchs fly south. They fly all the way back to the Oyamel Forest in Mexico. It takes about two months. It is a long and dangerous journey. Danger. Predators. Migrating butterflies make a delicious snack for many predators. To keep enemies away, monarchs have built-in protection. Monarch predators include spiders, black-eared mice, praying mantises, fire ants, and birds such as orioles or grosbeaks. Milkweed has toxins in it. When monarch caterpillars eat milkweed, it makes their skin poisonous. It even tastes bad. This keeps predators away. But some predators can withstand the toxins or feed on the monarchs without eating their skin. We have a few wing words on these pages. The first one is predator, an animal that eats other animals. Toxin, a poison from a living thing. Last one, milkweed, a flowering plant with milky juice. Cold temperatures. Monarchs need warm temperatures to fly. When temperatures get too low, monarchs will die. Wind and rain. Butterflies flock to the trees for shelter during high winds and rain. They cannot fly during bad weather. Howl deadly. A rainstorm with low temperatures killed as many as 250 million monarchs in Mexico in 2002. An estimated 80% of the butterflies died at one of the mountain sanctuaries. Here's another little joke. What is the greasiest insect? A butterfly. Tiring travel. Did you know that migrating monarchs can fly up to 30 miles per hour? That's about three times faster than we can run. Monarchs usually fly 50 to 100 miles a day when they are migrating, but the farthest recorded monarch travel is 265 miles in one day. Whew, that's tiring just to think about. Monarch tracking. Scientists learn about monarchs by tracking them. Small tags are put on monarchs' wings. If a tagged butterfly is caught, the tag number, date, and place are entered into a website. Then scientists know how many miles the butterfly flew. They also know how long it took. You can help tag monarchs too. To find out more, go to www.monarchwatch.org. In the winter, monarchs rest from their long journey. They wake in the spring, lay their eggs, and die soon after. When the eggs hatch, a new first generation begins again. This generation will start the journey north. From egg to butterfly. There are four stages in a butterfly's life. The first one is egg. A mother butterfly places her eggs on a milkweed leaf. The tiny butterfly egg is the size of a pinhead. This stage lasts four days. Hard work in mamas. A female carries up to 400 eggs. She flies from leaf to leaf. On each leaf, she places only one or two eggs. That's a lot of work. Weird, but true. A monarch caterpillar eats its eggshell before it starts eating milkweed. The second stage is caterpillar. A tiny caterpillar hatches from the egg. It eats milkweed all day long. In two weeks, it grows from less than a quarter inch to two inches long. The third stage is chrysalis. A caterpillar creates a hard protective coating around itself called a chrysalis. From outside, it appears that nothing is happening, but inside, the caterpillar is transforming into a butterfly. This stage lasts about 10 days. Our next wing word is chrysalis. An insect between larva and adult stage in a hardened case or cocoon. Here's our next joke. What does a cat sleep on? A caterpillar. The fourth and last stage is butterfly. When the chrysalis opens, a butterfly is born. After 10 to 12 days, the chrysalis becomes clear and cracks open. The butterfly comes out head first. Its wings are small and crumpled. 
the monarch pumps liquid through the veins in its wings to enlarge them. The butterfly's veins stiffen. About one hour after it comes out of the chrysalis, the monarch is ready to fly. Here's another joke. Why did John throw the butter out the window? He wanted to see the butter fly. Munching monarchs. When monarchs are in the caterpillar stage, they only eat milkweed plants, and they eat a lot. Adult monarchs eat the sweet nectar from many different flowering plants, including milkweed. The nectar gives the butterflies energy to fly. Our next wing word is nectar. Sweet plant juice eaten by insects. 10 cool things about monarchs. Number one, they can flap their wings up to 2,000 times a minute. Number two, their green chrysalis looks as if it's beaded with gold. Number three, an adult sucks nectar and water through its straw-like tongue, called a proboscis. Number four, their bright colors warn predators they are poisonous. Number five, when caterpillars become too large for their skin, they shed it and grow new skin. Number six, predators kill 15% of the monarchs in Mexico every year. Number seven, Adult females have wider veins on their wings than males. Number eight, though strong enough to fly 2,000 miles, a butterfly weighs less than a paperclip. Number nine, a newly hatched butterfly has to wait for its wings to stiffen before it can fly away. And number 10, scientists think monarchs have been migrating for thousands of years. At risk. Humans love monarchs, but they can harm them by accident. In the forests of Mexico, many trees where they live have been cut down. This is called deforestation. Monarchs need trees for protection against wind and rain. Deforestation is a big problem for monarchs. There are two wing words on this page. Habitat, the place or environment where a plant or animal naturally lives. And deforestation, cutting down forests of trees. Monarchs are also losing their milkweed. People use chemicals to stop it from growing. They see milkweed as a harmful weed. Monarch butterflies can't live without milkweed or the forests of Mexico. Humans and monarchs need to learn to share the earth. Weird but true. Caterpillars have six pairs of tiny eyes, but they don't see well. Here's another joke. What does the caterpillar do on New Year's Day? It turns over a new leaf. What you can do. There are many ways to help monarchs. Tagging butterflies is one way. You can also plant a butterfly garden. This special garden gives monarchs a place to rest, feed, and lay eggs so that they can continue on their amazing journey. To find out more about monarch butterflies, check out these groups that help them. National Geographic, World Wildlife Fund, and Journey North. We have reached the end of the book where our glossary is located. These are all of the wing words or keywords we discussed throughout the book.